by very popular request, today I'm teaching you how to tie a scarf in a really chic, stylish way. It's gonna be a good day, good day, great day with Micah Meyer. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you something that is so requested, I wanted to make an entire video about it. It's how to tie a silk scarf in a really chic way. Today I'm working with Daisita scarves, um, and these are beautiful silk scarves, but you can use any scarf you want. It can be any material, as long as it's kind of a larger one like this that I'll be working with, and I will show you step by step how to tie a scarf in a really chic and elegant way. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you the first scarf tie. A lot of these scarf ties require a flat space like this, so just a big table. You can even do it on the floor if you want, and you might not be able to see from the video, but this scarf is actually the part that is the silky side is on the bottom. So this is technically the inside of the scarf here. Now what I want you to do is take one corner and just cross it exactly over. So it's kind of perfectly equal like this. Then from the point side, I want you to start, make about maybe about two to three inches. I want you to start rolling it just like this and smooth it out if you need to and just keep rolling. And you're gonna see you can kind of like pick up all the colors of the entire scarf. So you're getting like that horizontal um, kind of picture of the scarf. And then you just wanna edge it so it kind of lands on a smooth edge here. And then this side, the fold is the side that goes toward everyone else. So for instance, I'm going to put the scarf around my neck like this. So the inside is here and the fold is facing everybody else. Then I want to just make sure these two kind of points are down and in the middle like that. That's the first step. Step two, I'm just going to cross over and then loop it over and I've got just a nice simple tie at this point. You could even stop like that if you wanted, but this is the bow. So I'm going to then take my little index finger, loop it, and then I'm going to loop it just like I'm tying a bow, like that, and then I wanna puff it out a little, so puff out so you can really show that scarf, and I even like to kind of twist it to the side sometimes. So that could be one way to tie your scarf, so you're seeing that side, and then you're getting that kind of big, bouffantish bow like that. The second way you can learn to tie your scarf is more of what we call the classic knot. So again, same exact beginning, so you're kind of going up to that knot. You can also, if you'd like, you can have the knot down here in a lower position. So if you want to show off more of kind of the decorative part of the scarf up here, and then you can do that, and then you can even puff up as you want, this side and this side. So you're kind of starting to just kind of show the scarf off a little bit in whatever way feels good to you. So this is kind of a very typical um, scarf tie that you see the Duchess of Cambridge use um, and many other women um, and even men. The next tie is the short classic. So the short classic, let's go back here. The short classic is just taking those two sides, tying it like so, just again, and then a nice tighter tie toward the neckline. And then another tie, so you've got a nice top knot like that. Now, here's where you could even just let it go like so, just like that, and it can look really cute with whatever you're wearing. Or you can take these two pieces and you can tie them from behind. So now I'm just adding a little bow, kind of a little knot, the back so it looks like that but then from the front you've got a really cute little knot here so you could even like for instance today I'm wearing a collared shirt but you could just unbutton that top kind of button there and just have it almost like a little necklace or even take it down a second button if you want so then you've got a little bit it's kind of plays a little bit of color a little bit of necklace a little bit of style and you've got that knot facing the crown, like that. The next step, if you want to do the hair 
tie with a silk scarf, or any scarf for that matter, you go through the same process. So I'm again, again, I'm going to be folding, and you want a little bit of a tighter fold. So instead of three inches, maybe go two and a half inches. Then, taking the fold that faces everyone else, I'm going to take off my headband here, you actually take that fold and you put the fold so it faces everyone else. So the opening of the scarf is in the back, the fold is facing you. And then in equal parts, I kind of take that. And then it's very simple, just a nice, easy bow or twist like that. And then you can even do, I like to do kind of a little bow so it kind of shows in the back. And then it looks like this and you just kind of angle it up and there. You can even take that bow and go to the side a little bit if you like, like that. Or you can even undo the bow so that you've got like one longer one or two depending on if you want to show off the scarf or if you just want a little bit of fun. You can also tie it around your ponytail, which I sometimes do, um, especially in summer. Next one, again, with the same kind of like snake-like horizontal tie, we're going to take that and then you can use it as a belt. The next time, I want you to take that fold, and then I like to have that fold facing up, like this, if you're going the belt route. And then you can literally, you can do like, if you had belt loops, you could loop them through the belt. Technically, if you have a belt, you should wear a belt, is the correct etiquette, especially if you're tucking something in. These don't have belt loops, so I'm just kind of playing. But here, to the side, you could tie it like this, I like for fun, beautiful scarves just to have a little bit of color. You could also just make it a full on like belt like that. And again, you can also put it in your belt loop. So remember, silk scarves are also belts. Okay, the next scarf tie is called the bib. Um, I'm going to add a little bit to that. I'm going to call it the glam bib. Now, this is the, again, the inside of the scarf. So the silky side of the scarf is down. Then you take this edge, any edge really, um, and you just cross it over, and then now you've got this little triangle looking, doesn't even have to be super equal, um, scarf. And now, the easy part, is I just want you to take these two corners here, right? Super easy. And then I want you to just take those corners, and you're literally just going to tie it and I kind of go a little bit higher, so I'll show you. I go like this, and I tie it. And then you want those two sides to come down. So you've got the corner facing down, and you've got these two sides like that. It's super easy. If you feel like it might come off, just put another knot in that. So if I don't want to lose my beautiful scarf, just a second knot, just to secure it, like that. And then I turn around, you can even put the two ends in the back if you want. I sometimes like it to come through because you get a lot of the color and the different design of the scarf in the front as well. But this is called the bib. You can do a long bib, you can do a short bib. Um, and then also, you can even tuck it in like this. So it almost looks like an ascot a little bit, but it's just like this super cute, easy way to add a pop of color to your outfit and just a little bit of a different look, like that. And the next scarf style is, again, silky side of the scarf down. So this is the more dull side. Um, so the side that I want to show is on the bottom. And then I'm going to, again, do the exact same kind of fold over here. So I'm going just in half and then I'm just lining up so the seams kind of all match up as much as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And that's kind of the beauty of scarf tying is that silk scarves especially are so flowy that it doesn't have to be perfect. Then you take this and I want you to do a kind of a big chunky fold over. So before with the belt, we had about two and a half inches. With the other ties, we had about two and a half to three inches. This is more three and a half, four inches. And just because you really want to show that beautiful kind of decoration or pattern of the scarf. Now note I'm folding toward the end. Then I take this and I pinch it here, so this is the end, and then I tuck it in like that. Mm. Then I take the scarf and I simply 
put it down on both sides. Now this is where then you would take a belt and you would take a belt and you would just uh, kind of like a high-waisted belt. Um, you're not supposed to use belt loops and then you put it right here so that belt kind of holds that scarf in place. I didn't bring a belt to work today. So you're getting my best example of a invisible belt, but holding here and then it's just like that. So you're walking around and you've got the scarf basically on show. You can also, if there's like a really pretty part of the scarf that you love to show, you can kind of maneuver the scarf so that that's what's kind of on display. And then again, go from there, but have fun with it. Um, these are just a few of my favorite scarf ties. So enjoy, have fun. There's really no right or wrong way to, scar to tie a scarf. So uh, I'd love to see all of your scarf ties too, but these are just some of my most basic and easy ones that I use all the time. Okay, that's it for today, but I hope this gives you a really good kind of foundation um, to, how, to really just start kind of having fun with your scarves. People always think that they're kind of old or old fashioned, but really they're modern and fun and can really kind of snap an outfit into shape in no time. Add color, add a little texture. So I wear scarves all the time and hope you learned a few little bits and pieces and at least one tie that you can do. Practice at home. Uh, now, if you like this video, please share, like, um, and come back and visit me next time. Thank you so much and have a great day.